Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I normally don't put too much stock into Tower of Illusion because in this game mode, it's pretty much a one and done. Once you do this thing, it's over, which has been a big complaint of mine for a long, long time. I think we should be able to replay this even if we didn't get rewards. But I want to give you guys some tips and tricks on Tower of Illusion because there are really good rewards in here. Just at stage 25, there is 2,000 rubies, which is nice. So the first thing that you want to look at in Tower of Illusion is your overall points, whatever stage you're at. Look at your overall points and look at the uh, typing that it has and the color that you're going to have that way you can look for characters that have an advantage now i'm actually been using the same team for the last four runs which is this team right here and as you guys can see we do have cosme on the team and she doesn't have enough overall points but if you add all these overall points together and you divide by three giving you an average of a little bit less then 3,000 OP, which is really, really nice, and it allows us to still do a bunch, a bunch of damage. But the first thing I want to show you guys is, say I take off Maki, right? And we're going to put in a character that has really crappy overall points, because uh, they're just level 30, right? Now we got crappy overall points, and we're going to be way under the threshold on our overall points. Well, because my Ash has a ridiculous amount of momentum, he has 30,000 momentum on his ass. I mean, it's a lot, guys. Excuse my language there. It's a lot, right? He has a tremendous amount of momentum on him, which in turn increases our damage in Tower of Illusion tenfold. And the plugins are the reason why we have so much momentum. We got solid 4,000 momentum there. We have 12,000, right? Just an insane amount on that thing. It's crazy. By the way, that overpower really helps as well for decreasing damage received, as I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. Uh, then we have 10,000 momentum here. We have another you know ridiculous when defeat an enemy 9900 momentum uh and then we also have the increase by 9400 when defeating an enemy so these last two plugins they're not even on those stats so he's going to have even more momentum than that and because of that he can do a bunch of damage so even though we don't have enough overall points i'll just show you guys really quick that if you have a damage dealer that has enough momentum on them you can really do well and this is stage 26 and just look at the damage that I do. That's all I want you guys to pay attention to. We don't have an advantage, right? And as you guys can see, I mean, look at that. Look at that, right? Uh, I mean, we are murdering this thing here. Okay? I mean, look at that, right? That's that's whenever whenever you have enough momentum, you can get away with doing things like that, right? Now, obviously, we don't want to just try to face tank with Ash. That's not a very good idea, right? But I just wanted to show you guys that if you do have enough momentum, you could really do well with that one character, even if you don't have enough overall points on your team. You can still do really, really well. So that's one thing to note. The next thing to note is that, you know, having characters that have support, especially if you have one solid damage dealer, and really in this case, guys, both of these characters are actually solid damage dealers. Ash is stronger, but Maki is still insane in this thing. In fact, she's actually going to have an advantage against the green, which is nice. But Cosme is really just here for her supports. That's the only reason this girl's here. And what I've done is I've gave her a little bit of overpower. Now, it's not a lot because my blue team sucks on this account. So I'm not able to farm the plugins that I need. But what you're trying to do, guys, for your characters that you're using are just solid supports in this game mode. Like, say you're using a Cosme that's not even leveled up. Like, I mean, mine's level 50, but maybe you have an A3 or A4, and you can put those plug those plugins on them. If you can, then go ahead and try to give them as much overpower as possible to try to decrease damage received. The other thing that you can do to help out is use Mukai as a striker my bad because mukai does increase active teammates defense by 17 percent but also gives that shield and because of that shield cosme becomes a whole whole lot tankier there's also characters that can give immunities as well as far as strikers but it's only two second immunity whereas that shield actually lasts for five seconds so mukai's striker ability is actually very very valuable in this game mode because he can keep a character alive for the most part now there are times you can get one shotted sometimes that stupid samurai can you know destroy us if he gets a hold of us with his blade but for the most part you can actually keep her alive as long as you use mukai as a striker immediately when you drop her in so there's going to be a set rotation guys to what i'm going to be doing here as far as you know how to get it done now maki here actually also has a pretty good amount of momentum 
right? She has 18,000, which is really, really good, guys. The more momentum you have, the better. I'm not really going to be using her support per se so much. I'll try to, but I really don't because it's you build up your 3PG that one time from your card set, and I do have this card that does give extra power, so we're going to give it a try whenever you land an active skill. I mean, 5% power is a lot, so we're going to give that a try, but with Maki, you really want to be doing, you know, five skills and then doing her default but in this rotation i'm actually going to be doing her 3pg and a lot of times after the 3pg i can't build up the default so i just switch to cosme and just use her support to help us get it done and really in the later stages having a support of cosme's caliber or maki or kusanagi is going to be very very beneficial in this game mode and ash doesn't even have an advantage or a disadvantage in this game mode at all so Let's see how we do here. Now, Kusanagi, by the way, as a striker, also gives uh, active team members active skill damage by a huge increase. I think mine's only 40% because he isn't leveled up. All right, we're going to do that again because we just had some technical difficulties, and unfortunately, we got to do that again. So let's rock and roll. Let's get it done, guys. Let me show you exactly how you can do this. So you want to start off with your damage dealer and just build up their 3PG and use their striker. Now, I'm using Shin Wu. Shin Wu does a lot of damage whenever you bring him in as a striker. So it's really nice to use them, and that's why I am. You could use healers, but UE strikers are going to be a lot better in this game mode for sure, guys. So we're going to go ahead and switch to Maki here. We're going to do her 3PG. And uh, by the way, guys, every time you do your 3PGs or your defaults, you are going to be stalling that timer. Okay, now I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, and see if we can build up the 3PG. We can't. And as you guys can see, we just use Cosme. Okay, we're going to hit this. And now we're just going to go. And again, because we have so much momentum, we can really, really destroy uh, this game mode here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right. Really, I kind of kept Ash in there a little bit too long. You really don't, you really want to try to go back into your 3PG as fast as possible. But right after this, I'm going to go ahead and switch to Maki. There we go. Nice. And because she does so much damage as well, guys, and I have enough momentum on her, I'm actually using two damage dealers. And if I was using Maki in a different way, where I was trying to get her uh, 3 PG or her default, there we go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm switching to Ash. We got that stun. Come on, 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 no, oh, I hate it when that happens, okay, there we go, 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 come on now, guys, Woo! nice, I mean, really, technically, guys, I could pretty much probably damn near solo this with, uh, Ash, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just switch to Maki. And I'm going to go ahead and use, there we go, and just use her 3PG. Now I'm going to try to use her default. We might die if we do that, but I'm going to try to use it and see if we can get it done. Now she actually does have the advantage. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. And... As you guys saw, the damage was insane because we used the buffs from both Maki and Cosme before I switched to Ash. It's really kind of the same process as what we do in Guild Raid. You try to use your supports and then bring them back in and use Ash. So really all I'm doing is just stalling the timer with the 3PGs from the support characters, using those support skills, and then using my main damage dealer to get it done. And you guys can use the same philosophy. You don't have to use Ash. You can use some other damage dealer, whether it's Yui Kyo, whether it's Oswald, whether it's Mature. I mean, there's all kinds of characters. Terry, there's lots of of characters psyche right kusanagi there's lots of characters that are very very strong that can absolutely get it done in this game mode for you guys especially if you're using support characters and as i've shown you guys you don't even need the max overall points to get it done now obviously as you climb in this thing it's going to get more and more difficult you're going to be a little bit more careful by choosing your teams but definitely for a good 
while this is state that was stage 26 i just did with relative ease definitely for a good while you can use this kind of setup to really tear it up and destroy this game mode so you can at least get these one-time rewards that are in here so let me know how you're all doing in the plug-in plan guys let me know where you're at in the plug-in plan and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m to plus seven time link in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care